here on the island is where the plane went down. And if you zoom in, you can see uh, a better shot of the terrain here. It's a high point on the island right here. There are some roads nearby and then homes scattered throughout this area, but they really had to clear out a path to get into where the plane went down to start removing that wreckage. That is where DNR and its teams are focusing their efforts this week. Cleanup crews placed the first loads of aircraft debris onto a trailer today. As they lift up and move large pieces, a DNR team goes in to check for hot spots. Some parts of the property are still smoldering days after the crash, and they want to make sure the fire doesn't reignite or spread. DNR says that job is expected to continue for several days, though we don't have a firm timeline for when they'll conclude their work. They hope to put the fire response into more of a monitor status by this weekend. They'll check on it every few days to make sure flames are no longer a risk. Because the plane was not carrying much fuel, the hazmat risk is low. Crews will be assessing the land, looking for any signs of contamination. Someone who lives near the crash site says they've been told the insurance company for Horizon Air is managing the recovery of aircraft wreckage, working with subcontractors to haul it away. Once crews have that wreckage on a trailer, they haul it down the roads here to the ferry terminal on the island, and then they ferry it across the water over to Stillicum. Uh, that's where the command center was set up for the past few days. They're having to go back and forth a few times with their trailer to pick up the debris until the whole scene is clear. Once it arrives here, they truck it away, but we don't yet know where they're taking it for the next stage of the investigation.